you are listening to the voice of the gospel a proclamation of the holy gospel by wisdom ministries january 11th monday let's begin this day with the blessings of god a reading from the holy gospel according to st mark chapter 1 verses 14 to 20 now of the john was arrested jesus came to galilee proclaiming the good news of god and saying the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of god has come near repent and believe in the good news as jesus passed along the sea of galilee he saw simon and his brother andrew casting a net into the sea for they were fishermen and jesus said to them follow me and i will make you fish for people and immediately they left their nets and followed him as he went a little further he saw james son of zebedee and his brother john who were in their boat mending the nets immediately he called them and they left their father zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him the gospel of the lord praise you lord jesus christ my dear friends simon and andrew were casting a net into the sea for they were fishermen day after day it was the same thing the same sea the same net the same boat day after day it was a wind water fish sore muscles tired bodies they probably grew up watching their dad and granddad fishing watching their future life watching how they too would spend their time cast the net pull it in cast the net pull it in if you are not casting the net then you sit in the boat mending the net that's what G- james and uh, john were doing casting and mending casting and mending you know about those days right we may not fish for a living but we know about the casting and mending nets days that all seem the same one looks like another life is routine lived on autopilot nothing changes we do not expect much to happen this is our life we cast the nets we mend the nets casting and mending to make a living to feed our family to pay the bills casting and mending are realities of our life there are also the circumstances in which jesus comes to us the context in which we hear the call to new life and then the place where we are changed and the ordinary becomes the extraordinary these would be disciples simon and andrew james and john are not looking for jesus they are too busy with the nets it is another day of casting and mending they may not have even noticed jesus but he not only sees them he speaks to them jesus has a way of showing up in the ordinary places of life and interrupting the daily routines of casting and mending the nets that's what he did to the lives of simon and andrew james and john that's what he does to our lives in my life and your life follow me is jesus invitation to a new life if these four fishermen accept the invitation their lives will forever be different they will be different they will no longer catch just a fish they will fish for people i will make you fish for people when jesus says he is describing the transformation of their lives not simply a job catching a new member or members or followers he could just as easily have said to the carpenters follow me and you will build the kingdom of heaven to the farmers follow me and you will grow god's people to the doctors follow me and you will heal the brokenness of the world to the teachers follow me and you will open the minds and hearts to the presence of god to the parents follow me and you will nurture new life whatever your life is however you spend your time there is in that life jesus call to follow me follow me is the call to participate with god in god's own saving work it's a work of change and the growth that work is always about moving to a larger vision orienting our life in a new direction and experiencing that all little story of life is connected to and a part of a much larger story of life god's life As Jesus walked by the sea of Galilee he saw Simon and Andrew Joe John and James Jesus called them 
mark records no discussion no question no goodbyes they simply left and followed him yes dear friends the invitation follow me is also the invitation to leave behind to leave behind our nets our boards and even our parents that's the hard part of for most of us we are pretty good at uh, accumulating and clinging but not so good at letting go more often than not our spiritual growth involves some kind of letting go we never get anywhere new as long as we are unwilling to leave where we are we accept jesus invitation to follow not by packing up but by letting go yes my dear friends let us all pray to god to have a firm faith in our lord jesus christ to follow wholeheartedly amen may god bless us